welcome again today we will discuss organic peroxide mediated reactions first we will discuss biofiligar oxidation and then we will discuss halfless epoxidation so biofiligar reaction this reaction is named after adolf von bayer and victor viligar who first reported the reaction in 1899 it is also known as biofiligar rearrangement and popular synthetic tool for converting acyclic ketones to esters and cyclic ketones to lactones this was the first report by bayer and viligar this was menthone and when they treated with parsulfuric acid whose structure is like this so it parsulfuric monoparsulfuric acid they converted menthone to this lactone as you can see here the more substituted carbon atom migrated to get this lactone and also they converted tetrahydrocarbon with treatment with the same acid they got this lactone here also the more substituted carbon atom that is containing the methyl group has migrated so after this discovery many applications and options are studied most common paracids used was metachloroperoxybenzoic acid or metachloroparbenzoic acid ncpba then peroxybenzoic acid also trifluoroperoxyacetic acid is very commonly used and salient features of the mechanism which was proposed by krige here the retention of stereochemistry by the migrating group so that is very important if there is a chiral center that stereochemistry is retained during this reaction migration is concerted with departure of leaving group which is the rate determining step so there is a leaving group which is ultimately becomes acid so metachloroparbenzoic acid becomes metachlorobenzoic acid that is the rate determining step and general order of migration is 3 degree alkyl so more substitute alkyl migrated more than cyclohexyl 2 degree alkyl benzyl phenyl and 1 degree alkyl so this is important phenyl migrates more than 1 degree alkyl and lastly hydrogen is there migrating groups should be anti propellant to the o bond of the leaving group this is also important this we will discuss in detail later so here also the migrating group and the o bond of the leaving group that should be anti periplanar electron withdrawing group on peroxy acid and peroxide enhance the rate of rearrangement so if there is electron withdrawing group on the peroxy acid then its uh, reaction is much faster so reactivity order of peroxide so trifluoro peroxidic acid this is trifluoro peroxidic acid this is the more strongest in this bayer viligar rearrangement then monopar malic acid whose structure is this is monopar malic acid then monopar thalic acid so this is monoparthalic acid then 3,5 dinitroparbenzoic acid paranitroparbenzoic acid metachloroparbenzoic acid this is peroxyformic acid then parbenzoic acid then uh, peroxyacetic acid hydrogen peroxide and tertiary butyl peroxide so with trifluoroparoxyacetic acid this will be the rate will be much faster and we will discuss now the mechanism so general reaction mechanism for acid catalyzed reaction of acyclic ketones here the ketone is first protonated by the acid and then the addition take place to the carbonyl moiety activated carbonyl moiety to get this hemiacetal and this uh, reaction which is the rate determining step Uh, this is the rate determining step here what happened this migration happens uh, and this uh, oh is becoming carbonyl and then one uh, group is migrating it is attacking to the oxygen and this is leaving group so acid is a conjugate base of the acid or acid is the leaving group here and then you get the protonated ester and after deprotonation you get the ester so a ketone is becoming ester in the bayer viligar re reaction this is very important because esters are very useful structures 
and for acid catalyzed reaction of cyclic ketones this is similar mechanism the cyclic ketone also gets protonated to get the oxonium ion and then the power acid reacts one to fashion to get this hemiacetal hemiacetal peroxy compound and then the rearrangement will take place so this will go to carbonyl and then one group will attack to the oxygen and this will live after that this lactone will form for cyclic ketone you get the lactone protonated lactone which is after deprotonation gives the lactone so this is also very useful compounds this is also we just told so the anti periperineal orientation is very important the migrating group and the o bond it should be anti periperineal to each other and this is the pyramidal stereoelectronic effect so here if you see that this is the ketone where rm R, rm is the rm is the migrating group and if you treat with this peroxy acid then you get this intermediate peroxy hemiacetal intermediate and here this uh, rearrangement happens so this becomes carbonyl and this attacks oxygen and this leaves now if we draw like this newman projection and if you see on the oxygen and carbon bond oxygen and um, downside is carbon bond is there so oxygen has one hydrogen and two lone pair and rm will be drawn like this rm r and this so this carbon has three substituent r rm and oxygen here because jo co we are looking at that um, bond now rm r and o r they will orient like this way that rm and this this and this is anti periperineal to each other also there is a secondary stereoelectronic effect where the lone pair one of the lone pair and rm so this lone pair and rm they are anti periperineal to each other also so this is very important the stereoelectronic effects determine the anti periperineal orientation of biophilicar oxidation and then you get the ester in this case and you get the carboxylic acid so par acid becomes to carboxylic acid and ketone is becoming ester so this is very uh, understanding that one oxygen is going to the carbonyl compound is giving the a and one oxygen is liberated so that the peroxy acid is becoming to the carboxylic acid and this stereoelectronic effect can be understood by uh, using this substrate tertiary butyl cyclohexanone where there is a fluorine atom at the alpha carbon of the keto group so when the fluoro group is in the axial orientation difference in dipole moments in the various conformation are minimal because this fluorine you can see this is quite far from the carbonyl group so the stereoelectronic effect is quite low here difference in dipole moments in variance conformation are minimal and do not influence the migration of either the ch2 or the ch f group in this case a normal product distribution was observed and the electron rich ch2 group migrates preferential so here just the uh, electron withdrawing group effect of chf is working because there is no such stereoelectronic effect uh, the dipole effect is not a dominating factor here here the electron withdrawing group is migrating less so you get this migration more and that's why you get 71% this product where this group you can see this group this carbon has attacked to the oxygen and when this carbon attack then you get this product so this you get 29% now if you if you put now the fluoro group in the equatorial position what happens now the cf dipole is close to the carbonyl and anything you add this dipole will affect so the dipole dipole interaction will be uh, important in this case so the conformation with ch2 anti periperineal to the creates an unfavorable dipole interaction on the par ester with the chf group because if you want attack now this chf this one is closer compared to the uh, axial which is far so there will be some effect on this uh, dipole in this case the electron poor ch group can achieve the required alignment more easily and is forced to migrate so this one is migrating more this one because you can see if this and anti periperineal will be this one however when this group migrates then this and this so in this case what happens 
if this group migrates then what happens this carbonyl groups goes down because to get the antiperiplanar and then it will be more interaction with the CF bond will be there. But when this migrates then the O will be quite far from the CF bond. So, here this is very interesting here you get this uh, carbon atom attached to the fluorine that migrates and you get this product more and this is less. So, here when this group migrates then problem is that then this interaction uh, of O bond because this comes closer to the C bond that interaction is more. Here are some examples. So, this is fluorobomobenzaldehyde. 4 bomo 3 4 fluoro 3 bomo benzaldehyde if you do mcpba oxidation mcpba that is the biophilic oxidation you get this acid so here h minus migrates instead of aryl group this is important earlier we told that ph migrates more than alkyl more than hydrogen but here hydrogen migrates because the the aryl group is electron withdrawing there are two electron withdrawing substituted so that's why it is not migrating only h minus migrating here however when you treat this one here what will happen aryl group will migrate and you will get this compound and this after hydrolysis will give this compound. So, here aryl group migrates. Here aryl group migrates compared to the aldehyde. Similarly, if you do here this bare vinegar epoxidation BBE. Similarly, if you use the acetophenone, what will be the product here? As I told that phenyl migrates more than alkyl. So, here phenyl group will migrate. Then you get this compound. <coughs> so, here uh, a cyclic ketone, cyclopentanone, and with a two substituent uh, cyclohexyl group is there. This uh, bare vinegar condition was magnesium monoperoxy phthalate and, and sodium bicarbonate methanol condition. You get this product, lactone, where this more substituted carbon atom is migrating. So, this is always suppose. this one here what happens here also this is the more substituted and this is primary this is secondary so you get this compound and this is a chiral cyclohexanone 2 3 dimethyl cis 2 methyl di dimethyl cyclohexanone this under mcpb condition it gives this lactone her more substituted carbon atom migrate also this groups chiral groups are undisturbed there are many reports also on metal catalyzed biophilic oxidation so here the idea is that you can use stoichiometric amount of uh, hydrogen peroxide and you can use a metal oxide like here methyl trioxo rhenium, rhenium is a transition metal. So, under this condition you can get <coughs> cyclobutanone to butyrolactone, 5 member lactone is formed in very high yield. So, what happens this complex um, uh, rhenium this is the methyl trioxo rhenium complex this binds with cyclobutanone first there is a coordination happens and now this bond is peroxo bond gets break and this attacks to the carbonyl and ultimately this after the, this cleavage you get the butyl lactone and this become carbonyl I think that is be becoming again the peroxo bond is forming from the H2O2. So, catalyst is regenerated again and again by H2O2 here. This strategy was applied to other substrates like here bicyclic compound 
was converted uh, with that MTO 0.3 mole percent H2O2 and you get this lactone. Also, there is a two mixture of products, so 87 is to 13, overall 63 percent yield. <coughs> Here, the more substituted was the major, this was the more substituted, so this was the major 87 percent. Here, a tricyclic compound was also uh, treated under this condition and this compound was formed. Here, though this was the quaternary center, but two electron withdrawing groups are there. So, compound. So, groups containing electron withdrawing groups, the migration will be much slower and that is why this group is migrating, this carbon is attacking to the oxygen. So, you get this product only. Here a chroman compound was used, a carbonyl group is there under this condition also here you get selectively this product where the aryl group, so this group aryl group migration. So, ar aryl group is migrating more than this CH2 group. This reaction also uh, was applied in different natural product synthesis. Here, a complex structure was used where many chiral center is there and under this condition MCPBA, sodium bicarbonate, dichlomethane, you get this product selectively without disturbing any chiral center. So, this lactone is forming and this stereochemistry is retained in the product. Then trifluoroperoxy acetic acid was used for the steroid derivative and here a carbonyl and ester group is there and under this condition the ester group is stage, the ester group does not react under this condition and only the carbonyl group reacts to get the lactone and here two products are formed, 4 is to 1 ratio, one this group when this group migrates that is the this product is forming that is the major and this one migrates slowly might be due to the steric region because here the chiral center is there and that is why might be the slower. So, this compound is major and minor. So, another thing I just want to tell that if you have a if you have a compound with a double bond and carbonyl and if you treat with MCPBA, what will happen? So, if you treat with MCPBA, it has been found the epoxide will be form fast. So, where vitrification oxidation is slow process. So, if you use one equivalent MCPBA, then you can get selectively epoxide. So, olefin epoxidation with MCPBA is much faster than carbonyl uh, to ester conversion. So, when you treat here only selective epoxidation is formed. Now, we will discuss surface epoxidation. As we know, Sharpless, Nayori and Knowles, they shared the Nobel Prize in 2001 for the discovery in asymmetric catalysis. Sharpless got mainly because of his epoxidation and uh, osmylation, that is the dihydroxylation reaction. So, today we will discuss Sharpless epoxidation. This is mainly a primary and secondary allylic alcohols into 2, 3 epoxy alcohols. Asymmetric epoxidation of allyl alcohols with tertiary butyl hydroperoxide. So, this is the peroxo compound, tertiary butyl hydroperoxide, a titanium 4 metal catalyst 5 to 10 mole percent and generally titanium isopropoxide is used, titanium 4 and a tartarate ester ligand. Tartarate ester ligand, tartarate ester means it is should be DL, D or L tartarate, okay. Chiral ester ligand 7 to 5, 15 mole percent. So, there is slightly more amount of the ligand compared to the metal catalyst and dichromethyl solvent was used and minus 10 to minus 40 degrees temperature you can use. Uniformly high asymmetric induction throughout the range of substitution it is possible to get high asymmetric induction. Enantiomer form depends on stereochemistry of catalyst. So, catalyst determines the stereochemistry. If you use different D compared to D, if you use the other L, then you get the other stereochemistry of the product. 
Each enantiomer of the Tata ligand delivers the epoxide oxygen atom to one face of the double bond. This is very important. The facial attack happens. As you can see, so if you draw allylic alcohol like this way, and if you closely look at this, this CH2OH group is drawn on the right down right. So, the double bond will be drawn uh, such a way that the CH2OH group will be down side and it is right, it is right side. Then what will happen? Then D minus tartarate like diethyl layer will react from the top face and plus tartarate will react from the down face. And if you draw the alcohol, allylic alcohol, suppose if you give a rotation, then what happened? The CH2OH group comes this side, R2 goes to that side, R1 goes to this side, R3 goes down. So, this CH2OH um, group we can tell it is down left. So, this carbon is down, this is top down, down left. Under this geometry, the plus will react from the top face and minus will react from the down phase. So, this is very important to determine the product structure, the epoxide product structure. So, this is very important. If you draw right side down right, then minus will attack from the top phase and vice versa. And if you direct like down left, then the plus will react from the top phase and minus will of course, react from the down phase. And this is again this what we discussed that this uh, substituted allylic alcohol can react and when this orientation then plus will react from the top face and a minus will react from the down face. And if we draw like this compound, so if you see this compound what happens, this is down carbon if we draw like this and this is left side. So, the plus will attack from the top face. So, this way we can see this compound. So, plus will give the epoxide from the top face, it gives 86 percent E and minus date it gives reaction from the down face as you can see here the down epoxide is forming and it is giving 86 percent E. This epoxide can be written like this also there is no harm. Substitution patterns, there are different substitution patterns is there like mono substituted, di substituted, tri substituted, tetra substituted, this was 2 to di substituted, this is tri substituted, this is also tri substituted and this is z di substituted. So, z di substituted olefins are the least reactive and selective. So, if you have a z di, di substituted like this allylic alcohol, then the reaction is very sluggish and also less selective. Here are different substrates are there with different substitutions. As you can see, when no only simple allylic alcohol is there plus di, DIPT. So, this is CO2 isopropyl. Okay. So, this is the CO2 group with OH group here and this compound gives 90 percent E of the product. When phenyl substitution is there, then the E enhances to 98 percent. When there is a, so one carbon atom of the olefin is di substituted, then also you get high enhancer selectivity, also the reactivity is very good 88 percent. When there is a cis alcohol now, this is the cis, sorry cis olefin, cis olefin is there, then in that case you get the E is lower 86 percent. And when, when there is tri substitution, but this is still trans, the more substituted phenyl and CH2H group they are trans, so you get 98 percent E. However, when there is a cis, so this is the CH2OBN and CH2OH, they are cis to each other, that is why the E is lower 80 percent. And this is very important when you have the other olefin and this olefin. So, allylic olefin only 
reacts under this condition and this double bond is unreacted and also you get 91 percent E. So, this is geraniol. Similarly, this compound can be seen that with 5 mole percent titanium isopropoxide, 7.3 mole percent plus date, 4 angstrom molecular ship, DCM minus 40 degree centigrade, it will give the minus, uh, epoxide will be from the uh, down phase, because here we have drawn like this down right. So, this was the right side and now the plus date will come from the down phase. Similarly, if you use the minus date under the same condition, uh, 5 mole percent titanium isopropoxide, 7.3 mole percent minus date, you get the top, the epoxy group comes from the top side. This is a conjugated diene, as you can see, it is very important, the conjugated diene is there and under this condition, this double bond is unreacted and you have to use more equivalent AR, 1 equivalent titanium isopropoxide, 1.2 equivalent of minus date, also 4 angstrom molecular sim, dichlomethane minus 25 degree centigrade. Under this condition, only you get this alcohol, since this is jet, the enum sociality was slightly low, 86 percent. This cis trans can be also explained by this CM compound, the trans isomer and the cis isomer. So, trans isomer with 5 mole percent titanium isopropoxide, 6 mole percent date, 4 angstrom molecular C dichloromethane minus 10 degree centigrade, it gives this compound because we have drawn the right side. So, plus will come from the down phase and you get 94 percent E. And when the cis allylic alcohol was employed under the same condition, here the E, the same alcohol is means the from the down phase only, but the E is only 83 percent. So, what is the mechanism of surplus epoxidation that we can discuss? So, first step in the minus here minus DET diethyl tartrate is employed and titanium isopropoxide is there. So, first what will happen? This substitution reaction will happen, two isopropanol molecule will eliminate and you get this titanium tartrate complex. So, this is very important, titanium metal comes with the ligand. Now, the metal center is chiral. So, now a tertiary butyl hydroperoxide again will attack to titanium and another isopropanol, this is isopropanol, isopropanol molecule will eliminate you get this compound, where there are extra binding of this oxygen and this ester oxygen also is possible to titanium. After that, since one isopropoxide is there, another substitution from the allylic alcohol will happen and this will eliminate another molecule of isopropanol and your substrate is not now bound with the titanium. So, here you can see a ligand is bound with titanium, your peroxide is bound to the titanium and your substrate is bound to the titanium. So, all three are bound to the titanium and now this desired epoxidation will happen because this metal center is in the chiral environment. So, the facial selectivity will happen and you get here from the top phase only and you get the after treatment of the isopropanol, isopropanol will come because which was eliminated will react here now after this desired reaction happens, then you get uh, the your product and this is the derivative is formed where one isopropoxide is there and now again one isopropanol will uh, react. So, it will generate the tertiary butanol and you, this is the pre catalyst that is the form. So, titanium ligand complex is formed. So, here we can see this your ligand and titanium are getting regenerated, only your peroxide is getting to the tertiary butanol. So, that is why the starts peroxide we have need the stoichiometric amount, other reacts, other uh, things we can use in the sub stoichiometric amount, titanium catalyst as well as the ligand. Effect of other chiral substituents. So, this is a chiral compound where the chiral center is there far from this and allylic alcohol motif is there and tertiary butyl hydroxide and titanium isopropoxide condition you get 
these two products which are diastomeric to each other because there is one chiral center and another chiral center is here. So, you get two diastomeric products. Now, since there is a already a chiral center, the chiral center also can influence the geometry of the products. And this was observation that when you use without catalyst, then you get this is major 2.3 is to 1. So, this was 2.3 uh, and this was 1, this was the ratio. And when we use minus DIPT, then it becomes 90 is to 1. So, this gets dominated more. So, this is actually match case. So, here you get 90 percent and it is 1 percent. And now, plus DIPT, you get 1 percent this and 22 percent of this one. So, that that means here the catalyst is operating, but this was a mismatch case so that is why you are getting slightly mm, less ratio. So, what are the features of this products are diastromatic sense of induction is dominated by the catalyst. So, catalyst is controlling catalyst can reverse also see here 2.3 when you use plus DIPT they, that time you get the this one is the major. The C 4 center reinforces and erodes this in matched and mismatch cases respectively. So, in this case reinforces because already without catalyst this was the major. So, catalyst reinforces that is why you get the better uh, ratio of the major product and this case it is erodes so this mismatch case. Now, chiral allylic alcohol. So, if the chiral center is present on this CH2OH what we have seen so far there is no substitution. Now, if your chiral center is here. So, here if there is a substitution and if we CH2OH group that CHOH group if we draw in a plane then what happens the R group that is the substitution either we can draw up or down. So, this will be one chiral compound where R is up and this is one chiral compound where R is down. Now, the question is whether the reactivity will be defined or not. Earlier what happened we have the plane and both side were equally possible. Now, here suppose in this case the top face is blocked by R. So, as we know that we if we keep CHOH in the down right side then minus tartarate reacts only from the top phase. Now, minus tartarate reaction on this one will be slow because the top phase is blocked and minus tartarate under this orientation can react only from top phase. So, this reaction will be slow because the top phase is blocked by R group. On the other hand, if you see the down phase, down phase hydrogen is there. So, it is no uh, like earlier it was no problem because uh, substitution is on the top top side it is blocking. So, down phase is open. So, the reaction with plus tartar it will be much faster. Similarly, if your chiral compound is such that the R is down, R is down then what is happens in this case top phase is not blocked. So, there is no problem of minus tartarate attack. So, again I am telling when we draw like this way down right side then only then only minus tartarate can react from the top phase independent of substitution. Now, if the substitution is there the reaction from the top phase is will be fast, but down phase by plus tartarate will be slow because down phase in this case is blocked by R group. This is a clear example of this uh, compound uh, chiral secondary allylic secondary alcohol if you see there is a cyclohexyl group is there and if we draw like this way the OH group in the plane and this is up down. So, in this case the top face top face of the substrate is blocked and plus dead plus dead means this one will can react from the down face. So, this reaction will be very fast if you give the plus date and you give the down epoxide and this epoxide is minor case from the top phase. So, this reaction will be much slower. Now, now if we have a plus date and same date, date we did not change, but we change the alcohol now the alcohol this cyclohexyl group now in the down case downside. So, this is the case and if you use same date plus date. So, what will happen? If you have date is fixed, your structure is fixed. So, what will happen? It has to react from the downside only, but 
the reaction will be slow. So, the reaction is slow and you do not get mass selectivity here 62 and 38 percent. So, this is down and this will be actually up. So, these two products are formed, but the ratio is not good here 62 percent you get and 38 percent. So, in this case in this case there is a option the plus date to react from the uh, down side but here the downside is blocked. So, that is why the reaction is much slower and you get mixture. So, this idea was extended that chiral resol kinetic resolution. So, kinetic resolution is a react condition reaction condition where 50 percent of the starting material reacts and 50 percent starting material does not react. So, this was the idea that if you have a racemic alcohol whether one enantiomer reacts and another enantiomer does not react. Because as you have seen that if plus date is there, if you have a specific alcohol then the reaction is one case is fast, one case is slow. So, this idea can be used in the kinetic resolution when you start with a racemic alcohol. So, as you can see if you draw like this way the left side alcohol is there. Now, what happens the top face is blocked and plus date this reaction from the top side because under when we draw CHOH in the left side then plus will attack only from the top face, but this will be slow. On the other hand when R is down then this will be much faster. So, this two alcohols when this is the racemic alcohol the racemic alcohols are there because racemic means this is 50 50 present. So, 50 percent that means this isomer this alcohol will react much faster with DET and this will be much slower. So, this will be unreacted and this will give the chiral epoxide. And this rate can be k relative can be calculated by reaction of k fast by k slow if we divide. Here the products are diastereomeric as we can have seen earlier using this sulfless menomenic contact between C 1 substitute R. So, here and the catalyst predicts the slow reacting isomer. So, if we know the uh, facial orientation of R we can tell which side is blocked and whether date attack will be slow or fast. With the exception of jets di substitute allylic alcohols K relative generally greater than 25. So, if you have a substitution then it has been found with except Z di substitute allyl alcohol K relative greater than 25. And when K relative is 25, the E of unreacted alcohol is essentially 100 percent at 60 percent conversion. So, this tells if K relative is equal to 25 or higher than 25, then there are a kinetic resolution possible and high enantiomer selectivity for both alcohol and unreacted alcohol and the epoxide products can be obtained. Allylic tertiary alcohols are not successfully epoxide under subless condition because when they when there is both side if there is a substitution here also then both phase will be blocked. So, the reaction will be much slower. So, generally allylic tertiary alcohols are not successfully epoxidized under sublace condition. Some extra factor may combine for high selectivity like di substitute olefin is more reactive than mono substitute olefin. They are K relative around 1000. So, di substitute olefins react much faster than mono substitute olefins because of the electronic nature. So, this is an example of kinetic resolution. This is a chiral allylic secondary alcohol. This, so, this is racemic and here this orientation is on the other. So, we have to draw if you want to um, draw the epoxide we have to draw properly and this CHOH we have to draw in plane and this will be uh, above or down the plane. And under this plus DIPT tertiary butyl hydroperoxide and titanium isopropoxide condition you get this product starting material R starting material R alcohol is unreacted under this condition and 49 percent yield you can get 99 percent enantiomer selectivity. And S alcohol only epoxidize under this condition. So, this clearly tells one isomer is reacting and other isomer is blocking one phase so that plus DIPT cannot come to react. So, that is why this on, on the R alcohol the reaction is not happening. 
In this case, uh, here one equivalent was used, another secondary alcohol, here one equivalent titanium isopropyl oxide and one special peroxide was used. 1.2 equivalent minus DET, 4 angstrom molecular shift, dichlomethane minus 20 degree centigrade, you can get 96 percent EE and 45 percent yield. That means the other minus alcohol unreacted, that one did not uh, epoxide under this condition. This is an example that is what we told that disubstituted olefin is more reactive than monosubstituted olefin. Here is an example. So, if you start with this racemic bisallylic alcohol, this one, but if you see the substitution here, this is monosubstituted, but this double bond is disubstituted. Now, under minus DIPT condition, and if you stop the reaction at 40 percent, then you see only the more substituted olefin has reacted. So, this gives the epoxide and this is this double bond unreacted. So, 40 percent conversion on the 40 percent, 70 percent you get the product and 95 percent enhanced selectivity you can achieve. The sublase epoxidation was utilized in many natural product synthesis because you get the epoxide, now epoxide can be opened and also the allylic alcohol that can be converted to aldehyde and then Hutic reaction, hydrogenation, many reactions can be carried out and the functional group you can enhance different, you can put different functional groups and you can get many complex structure. So, this was a, an application. So, here this olefin allylic alcohol was TMS substituted olefin here is there and this also allylic alcohol. So, under this condition this gives the downside minus DET condition. So, here we have to re reorient this compound so that we can predict we have to draw like this top uh, sorry down left or right side then we can predict minus DET. So, if we right side then minus DET comes from the top phase and then you can get this epoxide and after protection of the alcohol you get the mesetyl this is methane sulfonyl chloride. O missile compound, sorry, O missile, and now treated with one naphthol under basic condition. The OH reacts here, the missile group, and substitution reaction happens, and then you get this compound. Then this TMS group was deprotected with tetrabutyl ammonium fluoride to get the epoxide, and this epoxide then opened with isopropyl amine because as you know the SN2 reaction on the unsubstituted on the terminal carbon will be much faster than the internal carbon and less substituted uh, carbon the attack will happen and that is why you get this amino alcohol. Also it was applied in pheromone synthesis here however, cis alcohol J olefin was used with a long chain hexyl group is there. And here also it is very difficult to predict, but if we reorient, rewrite the molecule then we can tell the minus DET if it is from the right side will come from the top phase. And you can get the epoxide, here the enoxy selectivity might be slightly lower because this is J olefin. And now PCC oxidation will give you uh, aldehyde, PCC we have already seen pyridinium chlorochromate without affecting the epoxide you get the aldehyde then the hutic olefination will happen with this elide and here actually you get the cis trans mixture. <coughs> then selective hydrogenation will be carried out to hydrogenate the double bond and you get only the epoxide which is called plus dispatcher which is a pheromone. So, this strategy can be applied in other cases also. So, if you have a allylic alcohol epoxide then the uh, alcohol can be oxidized to the uh, aldehyde and then uh, hutic reaction and then hydrogenation will give a saturated CC bond and we can get many more structures. Application in synthesis L hexoges. So, here this was the starting material disubstituted olefin is there and you get because this is trans. So, you get high NSO selectivity and plus DIPT because we have done on the right side lower right. So, what will happen? The plus will attack from the down phase, you get the epoxide like this. 
Then thiophenol under basic condition was treated. So, this spine rearrangement happened, this alcohol reacts here and terminal epoxide will form here and now the thiophenol will react at the terminal carbon of the epoxide to get this diol. After 2 to dimethoxypropane, we can rewrite this, this was zigzag conformation if we do like this then this alcohol will be cis and you get the ketal protection. After that the MCPBA you get the sulphur oxide, oxide here and then acidic anhydride sodium acetate this is Pamera rearrangement you can get this uh, acetate. So, you, what happens here sulfenium carbon double bond sulfenium bond is formed and after that the acetate reacts there and you get this compound. This compound can be converted to potassium carbonate in methanol condition here the oxygen is also rearranged to get the syn compound, zigzag it will be syn actually and in diable condition you get the aldehyde. Horner was of elephantation reduction and asymmetric epoxidation provides an iterative route to synthesis of polyols. So, this compound can be easily obtained this allylic alcohol from a aldehyde first you have to do Hanner Hutti gallifination you get CH to CO 2 ET, CH CO 2 ET and that dibal reduction will give you the allylic alcohol and surplus asymmetric epoxidation will give this epoxy alcohol. Another application is venous statriol. here this furnishal was employed as the starting material and is as you can see the ethyl CH2H group on the right side. So, minus dead comes from the top side and you get this uh, epoxide uh, written like uh, beta top side and now this epoxide can be converted to this tetraido pyran motif. And then again another surplus epoxidation condition can be employed though there is no allylic alcohol, but this CH2H group might uh, help to coordinate um, titanium ligand and then you can get also selectively this epoxide from the downside and this after many steps this can be converted to this BOMO compound another cyclization happens here. Also the geraniol was converted similarly with titanium isoposite minus dead and since this was left down left side. So, minus DET will come from the down phase. So, this down epoxide is there and this can be converted in many steps to this one here is a OCH2O is there acetal motive and then this reaction happens. So, here you can see this nucleophile this is electrophile cyanide. So, after reaction you get carbonyl and that can be reduced to alcohol you can see this is the alcohol here this diastroselective reduction might be and this bond was breakage and you get the two alcohol here tertiary alcohol and secondary alcohol. So, oxidation where and cy uh, cyclic ketones are converted to lactones and acyclic compounds converted to esters and we have seen the migrating group is antiperiplanar to the OO bond where uh, which is living and this uh, migrating group also we can predict the 3 degree alkyl is more than 2 degree alkyl than phenyl than 1 degree alkyl and surplus asymmetric epoxidation of allylic alcohols we have to do, uh, draw in proper orientation. So, CH 2 OH group is if it is in the down right side then minus DET will come from the top face and plus DET will come from the down face. Similarly, if it is drawn down left side then plus DET will come from the top face and minus DET will come from the down face. And after predicting this geometry we can write the epoxide structure. Also we have seen that if there is a chiral center on the alcohol carbon center then the facial selectivity will happen because then one face will be blocked and uh, we have seen that the chiral alcohol if it is R or S isomer under plus DET one will be selected when it is match case and other will not form the product or it will react slowly and this this was exploited in kinetic resolution experiment where uh, uh, racemic alcohol racemic secondary alcohol was converted one isomer 
to the product and other enhancement in the starting material. Thank you.